friends so in this part of this course i will be walking you guys through on how to set up your products your categories and basically almost how to get started with this e-commerce website in webflow so without further ado let's go to this particular web webflow.com's dashboard and once you have already signed up as with your credentials and all of those stuffs, you'll able you'll be able to come to this particular uh, workspace. Yeah, and all you do is just need to go here and just start creating a new site here. You just need to click on new site, and then this will actually prompt us go like will be leading us to another uh, page where it'll be like showcasing all the uh, examples of templates that Webflow is a uh, uh, like they are offering that we can actually use in our uh, platform in our designing uh, webflow so in this case i will just gonna walk you guys through what are the examples of uh, example you can, you can find all of this four of these templates to be free here and you also happen to have paid uh, uh, how do you say paid yeah templates where you can actually just simply just buy it and you can just directly uh, yeah just directly uh, just use it for your own purpose and for this particular course, I won't be buying any of this course. I'll be just walking you guys through on how to get actually started with scratch. I mean, from scratch, by the way. So in that case, with that being said, I will be selecting uh, this particular blank site. And it's going to be a preset. So I'm just going to select this and just, you know, just, just, just give some random name. So for me, I don't mind with this particular name. I'm just going to click on OK and I'm just going to give proceed. So currently it's your project is being created in the back end so once you have created and this is how it look like so basically when you when you just created a blank page you will be having this white canvas where you can actually uh, start using any of the tools that uh, webflow is offering for example you have all of these tools here so for the first step and the first and the foremost step that i would like to show you guys is to actually just start with the basics so for a e-commerce website we all very sure that we actually needed products for our e-commerce store so the product is the one we're gonna add at this at the moment so as you can see here there is a designated uh, button called uh, as you can see it says e-commerce so this is the most e-commerce friendly uh, tool that you can actually find in web webflow so in that case let's click on e-commerce just see what what it does it show as you can see here let's turn your website into a store so that basically we will automatically create two new collections to get you started so let's get started with products and categories as our basic and the most at most important uh, field that we're gonna use it entire uh, this course let's do this so as you can see here this is all the steps that are required to set up your store here and basically this is all the stores that you can actually go through by yourself by the way but the most important uh, step that you can uh, that i would like to teach you is that setting up the products categories and managing your products so that's the whole idea of the of this particular part of the course will be so for example first of all i would go to categories so categories let's just let's add five uh, categories uh, just like a sample categories here in this because i'm just going to teach you guys on how to uh, uh like just uh yeah just get started so uh, i don't mind using any sample data so in this case if you like to have your store to be uh to be renamed i think you but you you would need to uh, name the categories based on your products uh category so that in that case let's move on so this is basically the uh just a sa sample name of of categories that i just clicked just now so what happens here you just created what webflow did here is just webflow just created a five list of five uh, categories that are just uh yeah this is going to be this just for the for the sample dummy data purposes just to fill up the space just to populate the space uh, the, the storage so as you can see here we have already created five categories and the next is let's go to products as well so let's also you have it says you have zero products in your collection so create sample items so i'm just going to do the same thing just going to add Five items here so in case if you like to add your own product you can actually just go to uh, you can just say uh, create a new product like here and what you can do you just need to click on this and in this case I would like to put uh, let's say uh, let's say I'm selling uh, airpods so in this case I'll be saying Apple airpods 
okay so in this case this is where you're gonna choose your categories so since we have already created five categories just now so let's go to just just just, just simple simply and just uh, click one of this and the next is like we have we happen to have main image here so in this case i'm just gonna make it uh, let's look for airports uh, airports pro image just something like that so what you're gonna do just gonna i can actually drag your image here or just click to browse for a file what i can this what i can do here i just gonna just look for an image that that is almost like airports pro here i'm just gonna name it properly and yeah apple airports pro let's check the image let's see if it's able to load and there you go we have a couple of items here so let's just yeah this should be just you know just gonna use this sample shutterstock image which, which they have provided here so it's gonna it's gonna copy this sorry and save it here it's gonna save it in my downloads and save go to webflow and just go to uh, main image here just gonna go downloads just gonna yep let's let's click on this all oh it's not being saved yet so let's just pick another image like this for example uh, okay i think we should do let's hope that it saves as png or jpeg yeah it is jpeg okay now it should it should work let's go to here click this and there you go you have the image installed and of course we need if you have a product you need a price for example usually airports are around 200 dollars i guess and let's go to other uh we won't be needing any of this for now because we have not uh, we just want to create some sample products for example all of this stuff so so once you have created all the data which which is required so just going to click click on create here let's see and as you can see here your product has just been created so what you can do here you can just like populate more products just for that just so that just to just for your uh yeah learning learning uh purposes let's go and click on new product and what you can do here and as you can see here you can actually keep on adding more uh products as you like to have and let's see if i able to remove this and what happens is that let's say select and delete as you can see here now it has when you have zero products you can actually create some sample items so i like to create some five sample items like this so just gonna click on it and as you can see here you have five sample items are being created and there you go guys so as you can see here there are size five uh, sample items five images five names five prices and so on as you can see here this is the sample and we would sample data that sample products that we would like to use from here and as you can see this is the most the most important uh, yeah data that we need to get started with building the ui and so on and that's the first part of this course is all about so i'll be walking you guys through on on the next episode where i'll be uh, showing you guys on how to actually implement these products into a nicely designed ui in webflow in the front page itself so thanks for thank you for watching this particular part of the video and hope we'll be meeting in the next video thanks